up ladies and gentlemen lynn here with a video for you all today i finally received my kickstarter backer project thingy on my yes i'm really excited like seriously i have been looking for videos on youtube for the pocket chip i'm not seeing but maybe like one one other video a guy got one yesterday so other than that um i haven't seen any unboxings of the pocket chip so and actually i don't really think he did an unboxing i think he just showed it off so anyway here this is going to be an unboxing possibly first boot of the pocket chip depending on um how much uh juice it has um so i like i said i just got it today i am really excited so yeah here are the specs here again this was a kickstarter project basically it has a chip in it the chip for those of you who don't know is a nine dollar pc um so yeah uh and then pocket chip what you see here you put the chip in here and um <clears throat> you can use it you know basically on the go um here it says it comes with a chip 3000 milliamp hour battery 4.3 480 by 272 pixel touch screen um, here and then uh, full super clicky QWERTY keyboard rugged injection molded shell fully open source GPIO breakouts and the chip is removable open fun wow <laughs> okay next thing company these are the guys who created uh, the chip here get started so you got to plug in to charge and you have to provide your own charger by the way it says here charge through chips micro usb port power on press and hold the pocket chips home power button to turn on you will see the power on screen appear play make things touch the screen to get started more info you go to pocketchip.getchip.com Pocket Chip was made possible by our awesome Kickstarter backers. So yeah, I am really, really, really excited. Let's go ahead and get this box open and see what we have in store. Um, again, I'm really excited to um, finally get this. It comes with, I think it's is it Picto 8, I think that's what it's called. Basically, it's... Um, a ton of retro style games that you can play but not only can you play them you can also um like on the fly go in and make changes to the um you can make changes to the game like if you want to run faster or jump higher or whatever the case may be you can actually go in and change the code on the spot if you're uh, playing a racing game you can actually add in um some um you know mountains and things of that nature if you want to so yeah and it has a nice little heft to it it's not too heavy and look there's the chip right there the nine dollar pc and then here's the um the little uh gpio slots here and then we have the battery pack I think this is cool. These are here because you can actually, let's see if I have something comparable. You can actually uh, basically put like a, a pencil through there or a pen or something through here. And I can't do that right now because I don't have a pen, a pen that's a pencil small enough. And basically you can put that through there and it'll like sit up. So yeah, so you have this little slant down here um so yeah let's uh take a quick look as you see you can see all the innards i think this is really awesome but uh you can in fact take this out i don't i'm not gonna mess with it right now i'll just leave it in there um <clears throat> here's the little charging port here is for your um headset jack and then your um <clears throat> other port here for your usb 2.0 and um, so, yeah, I think it's cool how you can see all the innards and stuff and the little buttons are, in fact, super clicky. 
And where is the power button? I think they said it's here. Power button's down here. So let's see if it cuts on. Okay. We've got something, guys. I need to take these stickers and stuff off. I know some people love to hear that. I... <laughs> Well, I guess it's loading. It's loading. But, like, you can... Oh, there it is. You can, like, take... You could basically take this apart. Um, it all clips in... <clears throat> in itself. So, I think that's cool. And, uh... Let's see. Let me pull up, um... <clears throat> some info on the pocket chip while it is booting and um give you a bit of information here um but here with the pocket chip that includes the um nine dollar pc it uh is 49.99 right now you can get it um through getchip.com so it has a one gigahertz ARM V7 processor, 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, is it Mali? 400 GPU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, five hour battery. <clears throat> I thought it was six, but okay. Um, so yeah, that is like the gist of it. I know that it, um, <clears throat> See, I'm trying to find some more information here. I know that um pocket chip. Let's go here and take another look, quick look here. So basically it says it's a game console, a portable synthesizer, and a Linux field terminal with, with a bit of effort. It can become a whole lot more. So you can check, um, you can use it. It says pocket chip as a VR headset. So there's a way that you can use it for that too. The point is pocket chip can be what you want it to be. And we're excited to see what you'll do with the pocket chip. So, okay, now this I have to. All right, so we're at the home screen. We're like two thirds of the way full here. It's saying, okay, you need why you you know Wi-Fi. I didn't have, I don't have Wi-Fi set up. Of course, you just saw me pull it out the box and turn it on. So we have settings here. Um, let me turn the brightness all the way up. Turn it down. Volume all the way up and down. My understanding is volume don't work unless you. I think you gotta connect um, a headset or or something to it um, <clears throat> in order for it to work. So. Um, apparently it does not work at the moment. So, and let's see, do Pico 8 work or do I have to have it connected to the internet? Okay, we have escape, um, navigate here, these two buttons here, disable tour. Okay, we don't want to do that because I don't know enough about it yet. Um, Pico 8 opens in Explore mode <laughs> with hundreds of games to play, which is cool. Um, Celeste is one of our favorites. Edit and favorite games. Then there's editing options there. So there's music, sound effects, maps, sprites, code. And then you can play your new game. So here you can actually go in and um, add um, your own code and then play your game as you see here. So I think it's cool that you can um, actually um, just change things on the fly. I think that is really, really cool how you can do that. Now, I wonder, I don't want to play this one. Um, is there another game? Um... Let's try, where's enter? Here. 
type splore to return to splore type help for help wow really i gotta actually type enter oh my gosh what am i doing Oh, wow. I'm stuck already. Okay. Um, escape. Great. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because I have no idea what the crap I am doing. So, oh, cool. There we go. We're back. All right. Um, and and then, so, browse files. Let's go ahead and check the rest of these while we're here. <clears throat> so, then we have... Home folder, desktop, trash can, um, there's music, um, documents, downloads, templates, videos. Okay, so I'm assuming there's nothing there. All right, um... So then we've got make music. Welcome to the Sunbox tour. Okay, cool. Don't forget to plug in your headphones. Okay. I don't think I have any anywhere near. Oh, they're far away, so I can't get to them right now. So apparently you can make music. That is really cool, and it shows you how to do that. So that is awesome. Okay. So then we have uh, write, get help, and terminal. So terminal, I'm sure it'll take you to the C prompt. If I'm not mistaken, there it is. Yes. So <laughs> it takes you to the C prompt. Um, and then here, right, that's where you could, you know, make notes or something. I am not for certain. Again, I just got it. So uh, then we've got get help. So I'm assuming, I don't know if you will need internet for this, but we're going to find out. Okay, so let's, okay, so here, there's some information there. So I guess this is telling you. So there's a quick start here. It's nice. I like it. Now I need to mess around with it a little more um, to learn to learn things. But I think this is really cool how you can actually uh, teach children how to write code, basically. Um, so this is a great way, a great teaching tool for kids. You know, it would be nice if we had things like this growing up. And see, there it is where I told you you could put a pencil down in there and use it so it can sit up on its own. <clears throat> and so if you if there's something you want to read here, you know, you're more than welcome to pause the video and do that. So this is telling you basically how to use chip, the pocket chip, actually. And again, as I told you before, this is completely tear down. You can take it apart. Um, <clears throat> basically that's what they want you to do. They want you to hack into it and to see what you can do. Um, again, here you have some GPIO solder pads there. <clears throat> I 
And then they're talking more about the pencil stand and the pen stand. Then they're telling you more about the battery life. And then to charge it. So it's a five volt. You know what? I think my um I think my Amazon my Kindle charger is about is a five volt. So I think I can use that to charge it. And that's the sleep. Shut down. I don't know how much further we have to go. Flashing. So you can actually flash this um, <clears throat> to the latest factory image. Now I, I don't I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. Because as you see here, it says it'll permanently delete all data. So you gotta back up anything you want to keep. So I don't know if it'll even if it'll take away Pico 8. Um so and then here they're telling you about Pico 8 here. So basically it's a way to play your little your, your retro games and such. And I think that's really cool that um, they have so many games that people have come out with. And see it says here you can make games with Pico 8. That is freaking awesome guys. Like <laughs> this is crazy. You can you know you have your own code. You can make your games and other people can play your games. I think that is freaking awesome. Like that is so cool. There's a sprite editor. Draw tool. Stamp tool. So this is telling you more about the tools, the maps, and basically how you can create your own uh, games. So this is like, this is really awesome. Like really, really, really awesome. And I think, you know, um, I love backing projects like this because um, I feel it's important, uh, especially the um everything that it can do for the children um for for the children that are coming up so uh they can learn at such an early age and this is an awesome something that's awesome that we can use uh as a teaching tool for kids in school or um just getting one for your child at home so yeah i think this is really really cool for forty nine ninety nine, I don't think you know it's it's a like a, a really big you know large amount of money, but um, yeah, I mean it's it's still you know a lot of money, but for what it is, I think it's really awesome. I think it's really 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 awesome. And again, it's still talking about other things here. File browser help settings, um, <clears throat> volume screen brightness security. Changing your password. What? <laughs> okay. Never log in directly as root. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's telling you about code there. Pseudo, blah, blah, blah. And then using accessories and audio. And this, oh, and this glossary of terms. That's always important. <laughs> and then a fact. So, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, didn't mean to take up too much of you guys' time. If you are still here, you guys are awesome. And um, yeah, you know, this is just, again, I'm really, really excited for this. I'm really excited to get into this and see what um, Pocket Chip has in store and to uh, mess around with it and to learn it and <clears throat> not be so... Um, you know, taken aback by, um, you know, messing around with um, projects. So this is, like I said, this is a great teaching tool. And um, yeah, I'm just really, really excited for this particular product. And um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, guys. Uh, again, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. And um, until next time, guys, take care. Be safe. If you are not currently a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos coming here in the near future. This is Lynn, aka iPod One Reviewer, and I bid you guys adieu.